In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Adobe Bridge to create a web gallery. I've already got an Adobe Bridge open, and yours may or may not look exactly like this. If you are not seeing the PDF web gallery selections here, just make sure you go to Output and make sure that it's selected. Uh, if you have something else chosen, it could potentially look like this or any other things, but just make sure you've gone to Output make sure you've chosen web gallery. Basically there's going to be three steps in creating the web gallery. You're going to first have to set up your template. You'll then have to put in the information for your template and then you'll need to save the overall web gallery. So let me go ahead and set up my web gallery. I'm going to first pick my images that I'm going to use as a part of this demonstration. So I've got a folder here called pics. These are my images. What you have to make sure of is that you select all the images that you're going to include in your gallery. So I'm going to go ahead, I've selected one. I'm going to do my Command A and pick all of them. So these are the images that are going to appear in my gallery. I now need to set up the gallery that I'm going to be using. And you do that over here in this output panel. Right now this is set up as just a basically uh, an HTM gallery. If I want to see how that will look with those images, I just do refresh and give it a moment or so and then what it will display in this window is the way that gallery will look on your web page and you can try and go through and see how it would behave and see if it's something that you like if not come over here and pick a different template let's say film strip so I and sometimes you have different choices this one just has darkroom so I'm going to refresh the preview again so it updates it with the new template and so you can go through, find the one that you like, and once you do, you, we can, can then proceed. Now one note about the templates, depending upon the web server that you're using, you may or may not be able to use all the different templates. Some free hosting sites will not support some of the Java and CSS and other kinds of elements, so you may need to do some experimentation. If you're unsure, the most likely one that will work on all uh, web hosting sites will be the HTM gallery. Some of these other ones, especially ones that have Flash, may or may not. So if you're unsure, go with the HTML. I'm going to leave this as film strip. All right, so we've selected our gallery. We've got our images into those gallery, but we need now to customize it with our information. So we're going to go ahead and change some of these things, and you can make it appropriate to whatever you are doing for your project. I'm going to call this one Photoshop. Photoshop editing and I'm going to put here GC M180 and I can put a little bit of information about I'm going to leave the contact name and the email address out of this particular one. And I'm going to go ahead and update that. So again, I can take a look at what that's going to look like. Now, one of the things that oftentimes happens, uh, students or people using the Adobe Bridge think that this is all that there is. Now, you got to make sure that you scroll down. There may be some other things that you want to change, need to customize. In particular, when you go to save this, those pieces of information are put down in the bottom part. So if you're not seeing this, when you go to save, you need to scroll down to the bottom. Now, I've already um, used this before, so it's already filled in with some different information. But I'm going to go ahead and change some of this. The gallery name, and yours may be blank to start with, the gallery name is a folder that it's going to create, whether that folder is going to be on your local machine or on your web server. And if you have a folder already, you could browse through that. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. I'm just going to call it PS. And I'm going to put that on my desktop, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that. If I wanted to change that, I would click on the Browse button and specify the location. Now, you really have two choices here, and that's why you have two buttons, Save and Upload. If you're going to save it to the local machine, the hard drive, or some uh, other storage device on your computer, you'll be using only this top part. 
if you are going to be uh, uploading it directly to the server then you would be using only this bottom part but you would not typically be using both I've done it both ways and that's why there's information in both sections here but I'm going to use one the save button relates to saving it on your local machine the upload relates to saving it directly onto your server my recommendation is to save it to your local machine and then using a FTP program and put it up onto your server. I found that although this works in Adobe Bridge, it seems to take a while, whether it's my hosting site or for some other reason, it takes a good bit of time before it connects up and transfers all those files. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed by saving it to my local machine. So I'm already set up for that. I've got my gallery name, I've got my location, so I can go ahead and click on save. So now it's going through creating all the necessary files that would need to be created to put that onto your web server. And it, you can see it very quickly finished with that. I'm going to go ahead and hide this. And here is that folder. And here are all the files that are necessary. So what we would need to then do is take and put this folder with all the necessary files onto our web server, but really this is all that's necessary for creating a web gallery using Adobe Bridge. If you want to do a quick test, you could open up your HTML with your browser. And I'll use Firefox. Oh, that is my default. There we go. And so we're no longer using Adobe Bridge, and you can see here that because it has some flash, it's giving me a little bit of a message there. But there's my gallery, and that's the way it should look when I put it up to my web server. Alright, well thank you. This concludes the tutorial on creating a web gallery using Adobe Bridge.